If you are new to the bass fishing world, this one single choice, this one decision can make or break your day on the water. Well, for new anglers getting into bass fishing, the choices literally can be overwhelming. You just look at the hook aisle, the lures, the rods, the reels, all the equipment, the terminal tackle. It just goes on and on and on. And for somebody just trying to get into the sport, it is extremely daunting. Well, this one piece of equipment can really change your day and your love or you know, frustration with the sport of bass fishing. And if you've been fishing for a while, I'm sure you're probably gonna agree with this. And that is your rod selection. So for new bass anglers, choosing a rod, even if it's just one rod, can really make a difference on your day in the water. Now, I'm not talking about for brand new anglers getting into the sport, you know, going out and dropping five, six hundred dollars on the rod. I'm not talking about going out and getting 30 rods on your boat deck. But what is one rod that you can use that you're going to have some success with, with the widest variety of lures, techniques and applications? The problem with a lot of price point rods, entry level rods in the marketplace, is they have no backbone, okay? And that backbone or lack of backbone is gonna do a couple things for you. One, you may not even feel the bites because the sensitivity on a lot of those rods is not very good, okay? So you may not even feel bites. And then if you do feel the bite, you're probably gonna have a hard time getting the hook penetration that you need. So you may get a bite, set the hook, no go, no fish coming to the boat or the shoreline. So what is the one rod that I would pick, okay? So I would probably select a rod that is a medium heavy power rating and with either a moderately fast or fast action. Now, is this rod the perfect rod for every application out there? No, for example, hollow body frog fishing, you know, I would like a heavy power rated rod. But as far as the widest variety of situations, this rod is definitely going to get the job done for you. That medium heavy power rating has enough backbone to it to cover your Texas rigs, jigs, those types of things, uh, but still is not so stiff that you can't do some more lighter weight finesse type presentations you know i'm thinking swimming tubes or stuff like that and if you can find one with the moderately fast action here's why i love that so much it's still got enough tip to it to to bury those single hook applications like a texas rig into a fish okay you can still get that done but it also has just enough give to it. If this is the only rod that you've got, you can go ahead and fish some crankbaits or lures with treble hooks and not rip the lure out of their mouths too terribly quickly. Is it as good as my cranking rods that are a composite? No, but it will get the job done. So if you are looking for one rod, I highly suggest for new anglers, medium heavy power rating with a moderately fast or fast action. And hey, if you are new to the bass fishing world, maybe you just bought a boat, you might wanna check out this video on the biggest mistake new boat owners often make when backing up the trailer. And hey, make sure to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the bass fishing life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.